Here we go. Got my water bottle lure out with my leech on it. So it's like they tell you there's not a lot of incidences, but but they never really came back to say that there wasn't, so. <laughs> oh! <laughs> yeah, all right. Right dead center. I'm Zachary Fowler, and you're watching Fowler's Makery and Mischief. Whoa. <laughs> Look it, there you are. There you are. All right, I'll see you later. All right, so we got a four hour drive to the top of Vermont to get to the Connecticut River. Just getting ready to dump the boat in the river just down the road. Canada, right there. All right, we're all loaded up. It kind of looks like we overpacked for this trip, but we'll see. <laughs> It looks pretty easy. I don't see anything dangerous. You got water? I got water. Oh, okay. Oh boy, I can feel the difference already. Yeah, isn't that nice? Oh, yes. Yes, yes. Right? Oh, yeah. <laughs> so I don't know if you can see it, but we got these seat backs that you sit in with a little strap right here. And it feels like you're cheating. Now, they're so comfortable. Riding along like a lazy, like you got a lazy boy in your canoe. How's yours? Beautiful. Yeah. Makes a difference, doesn't it? Yes. Uh, this is nice. This is like riding in style. No wonder kayakers kayak all the time. You know, they got those, uh, they're in a seat the whole time, all snuggled in and strapped down. And now it's just a matter of paddling and enjoying the wildlife. Man, these are big birds. Fire starter break. Grab some birch bark while we can. Who knows what we'll find at our campsite when we get there. Alright, let's hit the road. Alright, we made it to a campsite. Let's tie up and get some grub and bug dope. Holy cow, bugs, bugs, bugs. Gotta find the bug dope. Haven't been a problem so far on the river. I'm about to get carried off. There it is. Whew. Wow, man, those things were nasty. As soon as we stopped, they were just like on you. I haven't had to deal with mosquitoes much in over a year and a half since I've been living in nothing but winters. All right, time to make camp and then do some fishing. I have to find firewood. Man, these ferns are so big and so deep. I feel like I'm in Jurassic Park. You hear that? What was that? I don't make feather sticks very often. 
certain things are useful when it's damp. I got my little pile of birch bark from earlier. I'm gonna start it with my Wazoo survival bracelet and the fire starter that's on here. What'd you find? A slug? Yeah. I don't think you can, I don't know if you catch stuff on slugs. Oh yeah. You can? Yeah. Look at that, I learned something new from my dad. You think he's gonna catch a uh, trout on a slug? Boy, that wood was wet. Scoot over. No bites after that first one. So I forgot my actual fishing gear. So I stole some line off my dad's and his bobber and one of his hooks and I'm putting it on a soda bottle for my casting rig like I do with the wooden stick at home. Just hand lining it. And uh, I got some snails that I found. So um, I'm gonna see if I can't catch something on snails because I know that out in Patagonia when I opened up the fish's stomach, one of the things I found was snails. So let's see if I can catch something. Prepping some stuff up so it, that'll dry out by the fire. So tomorrow morning I'm gonna try and bank it and that tonight, like the way I did it on alone, so I can wake the coals up in the morning and uh, and light a fire with with uh, without any kindling or any of that stuff. Just uh, some dry pieces of wood. I drove almost through the whole night. I stopped a couple times and slept and then kept going. And a Georgia Bulldog game was on at the time that weekend. Or during the week, you know, it was the, week, the weekend before when all these things to, they were trying to catch all the people when we're heading back to Georgia. Oh, yeah. So basically, I take and I pile, I got all the coals in here. I'm gonna pile some fuel into a row and then bury it with ashes and uh, some dirt and leave one end of it open so it burns like a cigarette down in there and kind of coalifies. And uh, in the morning, I open it up and it's a bed of uh, red hot coals if all goes well. Or at least one or two hot coals. Work it all to one side as tight as I can and bury it. I'll stack all this extra firewood over here it helps it dry out. There's a lot of heat coming off the fire rocks. The rocks for the fire pit here. And that should warm it up. And these should be nice and dry. So when I drop them onto the hot coals in the morning, instant, instant fire going again. I think I'm in good shape here. Off to bed. Day two, here we go, off on the river again.
Caught myself a caught myself a leech last night down by the water's edge. Snagged him out of the water here and put him in my uh, water bottle fishing line uh, fishing rig here. So I'll use him later. Later, see if I can't catch a trout with that. But for now, it's day is getting hot. It was 54 degrees or something like that when we woke up, and we're heading out on our next day. And I think it's time to already start losing layers. Here we go. Didn't it? smell of cows. Mm. That's Vermont. There's Vermont on this side and there's New Hampshire on that side. Connecticut River. Yeah man. I can't do it with one hand. I need both hands if I'm gonna talk to cows. Nobody's gonna say hi. Ah. Nice, we found a little spot to camp for the night. It's already got a ready for us fire pit and a whole bunch of firewood <laughs> and I think this deep big curve over here behind us looks like a prime trout spot so set up camp and see if we can't catch some dinner you just gotta go for it you can't take it. Woo! oh yeah oh there's a current That's good enough for me. Ooh. Go Ooh. under! You oh. are. Yeah. It's worth it. You'll feel good. That's the stuff. Got my water bottle lure out with my leech on it. He's not happy to be hooked on, but hopefully he'll catch me a trout. Now I got him. Ha ha! Got it on my leech. Look at that. What is this, sucker? Basically. Caught one on the leech. Not the trout I was hoping for, but uh, there.
There. Time to cook some Brussels sprouts. So I learned that one from watching uh, watching Dan Walwack there. Cutting the notch, you got your stick, and you got your notches. You can hang your pot right there and just, you can have your different adjustments for depending on how hot your fire is. And you just lower it right down into another notch. And booyah, you got your pot over the fire. Guys, looking a little dark. Might rain tonight. Said it would before this, so I'm trenching. Tent is trenched. Let it rain. Time for bed. Day three. Day three, that's me. <laughs> Tried something different with the fire last night. I went and uh, covered it with green material because I didn't have as much wood as I wanted to before I banked it. So let's see if I can wake it up now and make some breakfast. I love the sound of it as you blow on the coals and it comes to life. You know, you need kindling. Lord, we thank you that uh, you gave us a good night's sleep, that you kept us dry, and that uh, we're in the third day of our trip here, and we're sitting here enjoying some bacon and eggs, and Lord, I, I just, in my mind, that's the thing that sticks out the most is the, uh, it's like, you guys took us on adventures when we were younger, and that got us into wanting to do adventures, and then us watching National Geographic, and what was like, braving Alaska, I wind the whole way up the, is, uh, now I've done that, I do a hike like that, just in like, uh, no problem. Like I don't know how you ever survived it, I don't know, I just didn't strangle you. you know? Yeah. Oh. Yeah, they, they told us before we went into Patagonia that the uh, mountain lion, the cougar there, was the biggest one in the world, but there's not a lot of record of incidents and stuff. And, uh, and but at the same time, nobody's ever come back to tell uh, otherwise. <laughs> so it's like, you know, it's like, so it's like they tell you there's not a lot of incidences, but but they never really came back to say that there wasn't, so... <laughs> well, the girls love squirrel. It's surprisingly enough for a little 
Good. You know, they they love the squirrel and the rabbit and stuff like that. Abby's like, good when she knows that it's a bunny rabbit for dinner. She's like, oh, we're having bunny for dinner. And I don't know if you remember. This is the best bunny I ever had. Every time she's like, it's we, used so to, we, used to eat, we used to eat a lot of squirrel. Is that one you could try out too. Get your finger up and around it here and like this. See that? Now turn it sideways. Alright. Whoa! You gonna let me tell you how to use it first? Alright. Now, before you release, now look down at your hand. See, make sure your hands. Now turn your hand one way or the other. See how. Okay, see so that's twisted. That's straight. You wanna make sure it's straight. Oh, did you see that? Right over the top of it? Yep, yep. Alright, first one to hit it doesn't have to do the dishes. I'll give you three shots. Oh, just over it. Oh! <laughs> yeah, alright. Right dead center! Dead, that was pretty deadly. That was pretty deadly. Yeah. Keep going right over the top of it. There we go. I heard it. Ooh, hit the board. Three in a row. Torque. Simple shots, torque. Fellersmakerymischief.com. Nice little slingshot. of our stuff. You ready? Toki toki toki! <laughs> Anybody in the trailer? <laughs> Hello, the trailer! I don't think anybody's. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah. Some kind of clay. Tons of clay. And look at it in the it's river. Beautiful clay. It's so hard. Look at it. It's, it's so like... hard, the cl it's not even melting. It's like slate. Yeah. Hey, these guys are territorial, huh? Are they gonna swoop on us next? I'm gonna quit the meal if he had caught him, I don't know. Doki 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 doki. Beaver, beaver, beaver. Kaka. <laughs> I didn't see him come back up after that one. A lot of holes in the bank here. And my phone pinged. A message from mom, apparently, Abby, has a fever of 103, so we're waiting for another message. Since we're in a dead spot, she hasn't gotten my message back. I think we're about halfway to the bridge. Might be cutting our canoe trip short. Littles are getting fevers. Mom's scared. There we go. Making camp. Looks like we're gonna stay the night. Abby's sick, but mom seems to have it under control.
The old turbine. Really? Yeah. So the water came through an upper level and then was dropped down through that turbine to make electricity. It's too bad they didn't keep something like this up, you know? Like free electricity minus the maintenance and, and stuff. Look at that, look at that birch tree growing around this corner of the Oh yeah, out of the foundation. That would be quite the place. Turn that, remodel that into a home. Imagine that, you drop a line right out your uh, living room window down into this deep hole here. With the a little catfish for supper. Yeah, catfish, steelhead, something, you know, browns, brooks. It's got to be something big down there. That is cool. That's what I was hoping for. We filmed this back in 2017. Our goal at the time was to head out on two and three day trips until we canoed the whole Connecticut River from the top of Vermont to the bottom. In the end, we only managed to do two trips that you see here mixed into one video. We did about 57 miles from Canaan, Vermont down to Lancaster. It was a slow, kind of quiet thing, quality time spent with my father, and life happened and we never really got out to do more trips. But now that I'm airing this, we've been talking a lot and we're hoping to get out there again and knock out another section of the river this year. So if we do head out again, I'll bring you another video in, well, maybe another four years. Just kidding. Hopefully sooner than that. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Fowler out. At our destination. How you feeling? Feeling old? very far by doing the lazy man version where I stand there and stick my thumb out. I keep moving. Every step further gets me closer to my destination anyway. Daddy! Uh -huh. Daddy! Daddy! What'd you guys have for dinner? We had spaghetti! Ice cream for dessert! Ice cream!